in at high speed and hope they can stop it before overshooting the runway and ending up in the water. Got 12,500 feet of runway, Mal. Check. Uh, you know, we couldn't determine how much landing distance was required. We were off the chart, you know, for the speed and for the weight that we had. 400 feet. The longer we prolong this, the more unknown things are happening. It was our one chance to get this on the, on the ground and we had to make the best go at it. Their speed is a hundred knots faster than normal, so high the flight computer doesn't recognize that the pilots are trying to land. It's warning the pilot, like you are putting the aircraft in a dangerous spot, and those warnings are loud for a reason. And I just had to put it all to the side, focus on what I was trying to achieve. Disregard that. Captain Waters pushes the nose down, forcing the Airbus onto the runway. The aircraft did not want to land, and I remember thinking, wow, this is it, because it was very violent. I thought we are going to crashed and into bits and pieces. Brace. I managed to keep that wing up high enough that I just grazed the surface of the runway and I got it back under control. We're down. Finally, the aircraft is firmly on the ground. Full reverse. The crew deploys reverse thrust on the engines to slow the Airbus down while applying full braking power. Immediately, you just step on the brakes, hold them, toe brakes to the floor. No number two reverse, no decel. But with only one partially functioning engine, they only have one thrust reverser. They could still overshoot the runway. I still didn't think we would stop by the end. The Airbus is getting close to the end of the runway. I could judge the deceleration rate was such that, you know, I started to get a glimmer of like, man, I think we really, uh, we could do this. Finally, the aircraft comes to a halt just a short distance from the water's edge. They've used up more than 8,800 feet of runway. I can't believe it. I made it. Nice one. Once the aircraft did stop, there's a look of what the hell just happened. And it was just this humongous relief. You're so happy that, um, you know, we were going to go home and see our families. Against all odds, Flight 780 has landed safely, but it isn't out of danger yet.